Prepare yourself with schools of knowledge in Amble Tournament, the card-playing combat game. You'll be playing two to four players, and you're going to be basically blasting each other with magical spells. And the way you do that is you'll draw cards from a deck, you'll all place them down simultaneously, you'll flip them over, you'll pay your energy or cost to the card, and then you will do what the card says. Cards can involve curses or actions or other unique aspects to a card, in which case players are going to eventually lose max mana or they're going to lose HP. Everybody starts with 50 HP, and if you can remove your opponents down to 0 HP, you can defeat them in the game. It comes with a preset up pre-con deck or you can simply make your own 20 card deck with one alt and one of each named card and simply get into the battle it's fairly simple to explain which will come down below i'll show you the setup i'll show you how to make a deck and then i'll show you what happens when you mess with me when playing the game amble tournament in my review so here we have the game Amble Tournament and everything included. And as you can see, there are going to be about 100 cards in the core set, which is going to come with four different types of elemental mastery. We're going to be having things like water and fire, and then two unique ones that have some interesting effects as well. I'm guessing this can be expanded and probably will be to include more different types of uh, mastery of elements. You're also going to be getting some tokens, which will in the four player game represent different targets you'll be targeting, whether it be one, two, three, or four. And you're also going to be getting certain negative effects like poison or bleeding or even being put on fire. Uh, uh, burning. So you're also going to start with a 20 card deck. Now, if you want, you can make your own deck and it's pretty simple. You go ahead and make a one unique card. So no, no more, no du duplicates in a deck. And also only one card can be a golden card in your deck or simply choose one of the decks that they have pre-set up for you to start the game. Go ahead and take your energy board here, start at eight energy and put the max at 13 because you're only going to have a max of 12. And do the same for both sides. Everybody's got their 50 health markers. They're going to come with 10s, 5s, and 1s. These are die, which will be used for boons and curses and other effects throughout the game. And then players are going to shuffle their decks up. And then they're going to draw 7 cards to begin the game. After you've drawn your cards and made sure your deck's nice and shuffled, players are going to start by playing cards simultaneously. And the way that works is they're simply going to look at the cards in their hand and play them down in the middle of the board. And in this case, we'll play this one here. And in this case here, we will play... Uh, let's go with this one here. After both or all players have played cards down, you're going to simply flip them simultaneously. You're going to spend the cost. And if you look in the top left-hand corner, that's the cost for each of these cards from eight to six for this player and from eight to four for this player here. Go ahead and then enact the specific effects. And this one says the uh, target's attack actions do one less damage. This is a curse. So you'll be attaching it to your opponent, in which case you're also going to take a die and you're going to attach the number on the die based on how long this is going to last. You're also going to do this one at the same time, which says any of your... Uh, roguelike skills that have a base cost of at least four energy deal two extra damage not applied to curses or boons so any skills that do damage that cost four or more are going to do a bonus two so this is actually a good card for him and it's going to go ahead and sit as well with a three on it for the duration and go ahead and place them to the side here if you had played any other cards they would be then placed next to you for the entire round before being discarded into the discard pile now instead of drawing any more cards you're just going to simply continue playing until you can no longer play cards in which case you're going to pass so in this case i'll go ahead and play this card here for this player and this player over here is then going to go ahead and play hmm, this one over here after that, once again, you're going to go ahead and flip these cards over and resolve them. This one's going to cost four, putting me at two. And this one's going to cost him three, putting him at one. This one here says target takes two damage and starts bleeding for two rounds. And so we're targeting this player here. We're going to go ahead and take the bleeding symbol, put a two on it. And then we are going to make them take their two damage. So in this case, one and two. This player over here is getting a boon cloak or a boon spell, which is going to give a two on it. Uh, while you are burning, 
your fire skills do one more damage. Burning does no damage to you. So whenever you're burning, no problem. And also fire skills are now more powerful. So he's loading himself up with boons. Well, also he has this curse. And of course, he's got a bleed on him as well. So a lot of skills and effects. This card is then going to be moved to the side and players can continue. Now, in this case, he only has two left. And in his hand, he only has one card that really can be played. Eh, so maybe he will go ahead and play that down. This player over here only has one left and none of the cards in his hand are cheap enough to be able to play. So in which case he's going to pass. Then simultaneously resolve, flip this over. He flips over nothing. Resolve at the same time, another curse that gets attached to the player. The defense skills used by target opponent cost one more energy. So making his things cost a little more. After that is done, then you're going to go ahead and simply both pass because nobody has any more energy. At the end of a round, players are going to be able to discard one card from their hand if they so choose and then draw back up to seven. So in this case, I'll discard that one. I would then go ahead and draw one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And this player may or may not want to choose to discard. So in this case, he just goes ahead and simply draws two. Players are then also going to do any of their boons or any of their curses or, or any negative effects to them. So in this case, he's going to go ahead and bleed for two damage. Reducing that by one turn. This one is going to go down by one. This one will go down by one. And this one will go down by one. And then the final one will also go down by one. Nothing necessarily doing any damage or any effects. They just are things that will help him or hurt him as the game goes on. This will also be discarded as well. And then after that, you're going to continue playing the game by pushing yourself up plus eight. So from two, it will then go to 10. And from one, it will then go to nine. You can never go past your max at any point in time. And at certain points in time, this max will de decrease. And like I said, if it ever goes, uh, if your max energy ever hits five, you can, you'll lose the game. Or if your health goes down to zero, you'll lose the game as well. Another interesting thing is when your deck runs out of cards, you will shuff, shuffle all your discards and put them back into your deck and then join and draw a new hand. However, you'll also lose two or one max energy depending on the game mode you are playing, which can hurt you in many ways, especially losing the game. In which case, the round will begin again and you'll simply be playing cards and continuing the game. And as you progress, eventually your opponent or you will run out of health or max energy, in which case one player will win the game of Amble Tournament. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let's come up and talk about it. Amble Tournament is your basic TCG style game, but turned into a living card game format. It has a lot less cards in the deck. You're playing with 20 cards, and so you're going to get the cards you want most of the time. And if you're not going to get them the first round, you're definitely going to get them the second and even the third round at the latest. And how the cards work together definitely depends on the type of elemental masteries you put together or the spell classes you put together. And how they synergize will depend on how you want to make your deck. Now, of course, the ones that you start off with when you play the game and they give you in the rules, those ones are very work very close together and they are very hit and miss as to who's going to win the game based on how the cards are played. If you're playing red, you're going to be doing some serious heavy damage up front you're also able to burn yourself and turn to burn other people as well as there's cards that prevent you from taking damage when burning and thusly make other players take more damage when they burn which is a nice little combination of how these cards kind of synergize as well as if you're playing water you're gonna give people basically curses and increase the time of those curses how long they last and also reduce the amount of times they can play cards or spells during a round which doesn't mean that they're going to be able to use all of their energy during a round so even if if they had 10 energy and they had five cards they wanted to use they have this curse on them and they can only use three which is a nice way of balancing certain cards in like the red deck for instance that can give you potentially more energy at the cost of burning yourself which in turn if you have the card that stops you from burning you don't take any damage giving you a bunch of energy so there are powerful things like that each of the decks also have their own unique orange card or yellow card. It's this really powerful, unique ability that does some type of powerful blast or unique boon or beneficial effect on you. Really cool that they can be added to the game, but they don't feel like a super ultimate or a rare because you're not pulling them from packs or anything like that. You get to choose simply what you want to work with inside of your deck based on what there are options to choose from throughout the game. Uh, this game is... It has a bunch of like tidal waves of movement. You feel like you're winning at one point, you feel like you might lose at another, then you get the card you just need. So it has that kind of feeling of when you're playing one of those TCG LCR Android style games, but it's 
it's simplified and it's conditioned into a single style format that only takes 15 to maybe 20 minutes to play. The game is very easy to understand and how it functions that you only need to teach the game maybe three or four minutes to understand how it's played. And overall, it's a lot of fun. Now, of course, it is an aggressive style, style game because you are attempting to defeat your opponent. And so in which case, if you don't like the idea of having to battle somebody in a card game, then this is probably not going to be for you, but it's also likely you're not watching this video if that's the case. But regardless, if you don't like those type of games, this one won't be for you. The artwork in the game is great. Now, of course, there are not a lot of different uh Art, there's not a lot of art presented in this prototype because this is a prototype and there are some cards that are in need of artwork But what is here is very nice. It feels elemental like and I, I, I kind of wish that the art is actually going to be a full card as opposed to just in this little box This is like TCG style format I'd rather it actually be a full art style card with just a little text box and then just the needed information on the sides uh, So that's what I would recommend specifically because you have such great gorgeous artwork on there And I think it would do your world a good to have it that's shown off as best as possible. The burning and the bleeding and the poisoning works very well. The targeting your opponents when you're playing four players is just fine. Maybe even present an extra set of those chips so that you can determine who starts as one, two, three, and four and just stays there on the field so you don't need to have to actually remember when placing those down. Uh, obviously this is a prototype so you're probably gonna get more, ble more health tokens that will let you make change for when you take the damage and using the dice for the round markers works very well it's very simple how the game functions and i really enjoyed it because it was something that we were to learn in about five to ten minutes after reading the rules and it was something you could just jump right back into right after you lose to then be able to change up your strategy or even change up your deck to defeat your opponent in the game and we'll tournament anyway that's my review for it if you're interested in taking a look at the game go and check down below in the link in the description you can go and pick up the game on kickstarter a fun little game that's very quick and very very easy to understand with a good amount of strategy a simultaneous style placement game uh, a revealing game when it comes to like a tcg or a living card game or whatever they call these games these days but overall highly enjoyable for what is presented here and if you're interested like i said down below anyway review over outro time all right guys thanks for watching another unfiltered gamer board game review or card game review if you're interested take a look at the game like i said down below link in the description for amble tournament give me that full artwork do it give me full artwork i love when games do that as well as of course if you're interested in my website unfilteredgamer.com blog post giveaways kickstarter lists and more like subscribe comment please share this out if you think more people will be interested and hit that bell notification button we do really greatly appreciate it helps us keep chugging along more stuff we'll have some more videos coming out this week as well as that Callie's corner video you get to learn more stuff about the games she's interested in all right guys that's all i got for you this time as always i look forward to seeing you on my live stream 6 30 p.m this wednesday see you guys later